Hi, my name's Rowan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire Sew Girl. How are we all? I hope everybody's really well. I thought I'd pop on today to talk all things jumpers. Now, previously I've done a couple of videos. I've done one about dresses and I've done one other one, can't remember what it was, where I talked about five that I've made and five that I'd like to make. So five patterns that I've actually already made and five that I would love to make. Now, I'd have to excuse the background. My sewing room has become a bit of a dumping ground because we are decorating our whole stairs and landing. <gasps> so everything's everywhere. So just, you know, I've got all sorts of random stuff hanging off the back of my uh, door and I've all got all sorts of stuff down here. But you don't need to see that. <laughs> I thought I'd have a little break. Um, this might be a bit of a long one. Depends how much I natter. But, you know, it's got to be done sometimes, hasn't it? Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd come on and discuss first of all five patterns that I've already made because it is October and it is starting to get a bit dull and a bit autumnal and a bit blur now isn't it well that is in the UK anyway I know for all those other people on the other side of the world things are starting to hotten up now and I'm not jealous at all honest right let's crack on I've got notes look at it I know it's not like me I know I normally just wing it, but I thought this is a bit more important. This is like some proper content here coming on, not just me chitter chattering. So I thought I'd best write some stuff down. So I will refer to this quite a lot. Just go with it. So number one out of jumpers slash sweaters that I've already made is the Megan Nielsen Jarra sweater, of which I'll be popping pictures up one side or the other. I'm not quite sure. Um but yes, I have made a couple of these. In fact, I've made three of these, two for myself and one for my mum. And in fact, my mum said the other day, uh, you know that jumper that you've made me? I said, the one that you wear all the time. She said, yeah, when we go to the knitting and stitching show, can we buy some fabric for you to make me one for my Christmas present? And I was like, yes, absolutely, because she loves it. She really, really likes it. And so do I. I've just got both of mine out for this winter period and I've already worn one and forgot how much I loved it. So let me talk you through what it says about it on the website is it says a loose fit drop shoulder sweater. The pattern features a crew or funnel neckline, two sleeve options and four hem styles. So view A is a sweater with cuffs and hem band and view B is a sweater with curved hemline and split sleeve hem. View C is a sweater with waist tie and cuffs and view D is a, a cropped sweater with funnel neck and split sleeve hem hem so what you can see from this pattern already and it is a very very popular pattern is that you get a lot for your money you know what i'm saying if anybody has recently watched um our video over on the northern soul sisters channel you'll also see that rachel's just made a jarra sweater and it is chef's kisses and that's in the cable knit fabric from uh first fabrics that we were gifted and it just looks beautiful. Now, the versions that I've made have been the um, stepped hem, the curved hem, um, crew neck, and I put cuffs on mine. However, now I've seen Rachel's with the split um, sleeve. I'm kind of like, mm, I like that detail. It's a little bit fancy. So I think I'm going to make another one of them maybe for myself and do a different sleeve version and basically copy Rachel. That's what I'm going to do. So skills are one out of five and sizing. They've got two size bands. One is zero to 20 and then they've got a curved size, which is 14 to 30, which is fabulous. Now let's have a look. So bust 32 inches to 60, waist of 24 to 52 and hips of 34 to 62. Now, like I say, pretty simple. They've said skill level one out of five and I would agree with that. Great for beginners. And probably the main thing is learning how to put the neck band in. Obviously, I've not done the split sleeve, um, so that'd be quite interesting to have a go at. But other than that, I don't think you're going to have a problem. And you can do it in pretty much any knit fabric, I would say. Probably not maybe a very loose knit, you know, or like a really drapey knit like a viscose jersey. You probably could do it, but you'd have a very different look to it, if you know what I mean. So that's number one. Number two is what I'm wearing today. And this is the Mila jumper by Tammy Handmade. I don't know why I felt like I needed to do that, but actually, can you actually see the shape of it? It's awesome, isn't it? I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing this today and I wear this all the time. In fact, I've only made one and I don't know why. I probably need to make some more because I do wear it a lot. I love the fact that I can just throw it on my jeans and it looks quite casual, but also 
you don't look like you're just going around in your pyjamas. <laughs> but yeah, I made this. In fact, I made this on one of my Vlogmas vlogs um, last year uh, to see how quickly I could get it done. And I, it was like that. I think it's probably the fastest jumper I've ever made. So, what it says about the Mila jumper. The Mila jumper is a stylish pattern that features dolman dropped sleeves that are wider at the shoulder and then taper at the wrists. This slip-on and slouchy fit makes the perfect cosy jumper for beginner sewists looking for a quick, satisfying make. This jumper can easily be hacked for a cropped look or a longer length. Yeah, and I would definitely agree with that. Great for a beginner and also it's just really, really comfy and quick to make. So fabric recommendations. This jumper can be sewn with light, medium weight knit fabrics such as jersey, ribbed knit, fleece, sweatshirt, knit wool blends and jacquard knit. They will be the ones that will work best. Now, I quite fancy making this in like a, a viscose jersey, to be honest, because I think it would give a really nice drape to it, a different look to it. But I was thinking that might look quite nice as a bit of loungewear. So maybe with some matching trousers, that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? I'm sorry if you can hear um, someone cutting their grass outside. That would be my husband who's decided to do that as soon as I've said I'm filming a vlog. <laughs> you wouldn't expect anything else though, would you, from this household, but anyway. So that is in sizes six to 32, so that's a bust of 31 to 57, a waist of 24 to 50, and hips of 34 to 60. Highly recommend. Number three that I've made is the Nina Lee Southbank sweater. Now, I love this pattern as well. I've made two of these, I believe. Yes, I've made two. Both of them are too small for me because <laughs> I made them a couple of years ago. I've put a few pounds on since then. So it's definitely on my list to make again and also to do the jumper version, not just the dress version, because that's the only one I've made is the dress version. So I definitely want to give the jumper a, a go as well. But this is so nice to just wear around the house as well. Um, when we just went away for the weekend, Angela from Devon Threadtails had hers on. And I think, she, did she wear one the second day as well? I'm sure she had two now, thinking about it. And she just had them on with tights and it looked really put together, but also really comfy and cosy as well. So yeah, a really, really good pattern, this one. So it says the South Bank sweater and sweater dress is a cosy yet stylish knit pattern designed to become a winter wardrobe workhorse. With a slightly oversized fit, funnel neck and drop shoulders, South Bank is on trend, comfortable and flattering. Oh, and unbelievably quick and easy to sew. That's what we like to hear. Version one is a sweater dress with a sweatshirt inspired hem band and side seam pockets, easy to dress up or down. Version two is a hip length top suitable for wearing over trousers or pencil skirts when made in a ponty or similar. Like that idea, like that idea. Or ideal for tucking into high waisted garments if made in a lighter weight fabric. Version three is a cropped sweater designed to finish at the natural waist. All three variations feature slouchy, slightly over long sleeves with cuffs. Also true story. And I love that because I always struggle with sleeve lengths on jumpers. So I like the fact that it's got a really good sleeve length as well. Suitable fabric. All three options work well in medium weight knits with up to 20% stretch, such as Ponte Roma, boiled wool, sweatshirt fabric. Version two also works beautifully in lighter weight jerseys, which give a softer, drapier look. And that comes in sizes six to 28. So a bust of 32 to 54, waist of 24 to 47, and hips of 33 and a half to 57 inches. Um, so again, quite a good um, size range as well on that. I have tried to pick ones that are as size inclusive as I could find. Obviously these are ones that I've made, so sometimes that's a bit more difficult. Um, but there's quite a few that I really, really like the look of, but they weren't very size inclusive. So I just I took them off my list because I'm hard like that. <laughs> OK, number four is the Billy sweatshirt and dress by Tilly and the Buttons. Now, let me think. I've made a dress version of this in some gorgeous fleece back sweatshirting that I got from Beyond the Pink Door. And I've made two jumper versions one with the poof sleeves and one without so i've made quite a few versions of this so again i've got quite a bit for my money what it says about the billy sweatshirt is it's an ultra comfy sweatshirt or sweater dress that you can whip up in an afternoon dress the billy up or down for a meeting dinner date or sunday on the sofa it's a bestseller for a reason so it's got a relaxed shape but it's not too baggy classic crew neckline 
It's got a choice of timeless straight sleeves or the dramatic balloon sleeve with deep cuffs. Um, the top version sits on the high hip and the mini dress version with cutaway pockets finishes about four inches above the knee. So it's quite short. I do believe I had to actually extend mine. Now this comes in sizes 6 to 34. So that's a bust of 30 to 60 inches, waist of 24 to 53 and hips of 33 to 60. Now, I really, really like that pattern. It actually suits my body shape as well. But what I've tried to do is pick, because I've actually made more than five different jumpers, I tried to pick ones that were all a little bit different as well. So last but not least out of the jumpers that I have actually made before is the Tasuti Monroe Turtleneck. Now, this is a free pattern. Don't we just love a free pattern? Yes, we do. And I have made two, I think, of these but I've got more on my list for this year because I absolutely love them. The first one I made, I made too small. It won't go over my head. I've got a mahoosive head. So I did give it to a friend of mine and she looked glamorous in it and I was really gutted. Um, but I think, was it last year or the year before, I made a version in a beautiful pink faux angora that I got from Beyond the Pink Door and I love it. I wear it all the time. So much so that it's kind of starting to look like I wear it all the time. So I do need to upgrade and get another one. So it says the Monroe turtleneck is a boxy style featuring drop shoulders, a turtleneck collar and optional three quarter of full length fitted sleeves. It's relaxed and easy to wear. It's a very quick sewing project and a classic autumn winter wardrobe staple. So recommended fabrics are stretch cotton, wool jersey, viscose jersey and knits with elastane, lycra or spandex content. And I do think lighter weight fab uh, knit fabrics, very stretchy ones, so the likes of viscose jersey, etc. do work with this pattern really, really well. Um, you could probably do it with a heavier weight knit, but I think it might be a bit too boxy. You might not be able to get it over your head. Now, this is the least... Um, size inclusive pattern um, but obviously it was one that I've already made and this goes in sizes XXS to XXL so that's a bust of 32 to 44 a waist of 27 to 43 and hips of 34 to 48 now I am a size 16 roughly in retail wear 14 to 16 but I'm a 43 bust not because I've got big not because I've got big boobies, but just because I've got a really broad back. Now, this only goes up to 44 inches on the bust measurement. However, the reason I included it on here is because actually it's got loads and loads of ease. So you wouldn't have a problem at all, probably, in making this um, because you, you wouldn't probably need to grade out. From memory, it just has three or four sizes and there's quite a big difference between each one and it's a very boxy shape. So I do think you'd be able to get away with this as well if you did fall slightly outside of the size range, which would be amazing. Right, I'm going to stop here. I want to talk to you about my light here for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to come back and talk to you about five jumper patterns that I would like to make. So I just wanted to quickly pop on and talk to you about my serious light. Now, for anybody who's followed me for a while, you will know that I have talked about this light before. I've had it probably coming up to about a year now and I love it. And that's why I keep going on about it. I've had a few people contact me as well recently to ask if there's a code going for a discount, which I have had previously. And I'm wondering whether it's people are thinking about maybe a nice little Christmas present. I don't know. But I thought I'd just quickly show you what I've got because obviously it's October. The nights are drawing in and it's really, really dark. I have got the high definition table light and I went for the Gemini option, which means you get two of these amazing things on here. And if you can see in my sewing room, I've got you this way around because I've got a sewing machine here under my window and I've got my overlocker here behind me. So I can actually position these, which is amazing, to have one on my sewing machine and one on my overlocker or I can bring it in really close and I can do my hand stitching, of which I really don't like doing, but sometimes it's a necessity. So because it is getting so dark, I obviously try to use the light from my window as much as possible. But unfortunately, like I say, the clocks are going to be going back soon. I have got a light behind me. So when I'm sat at my sewing machine, <laughs> the light's behind me, so I kind of block the light. So this has become imperative. Obviously, I absolutely love it. So I can position this however I want it. And sometimes I'll have both of them on my sh machine and I'll bring one really close in if I want to do something that's quite difficult. 
But yeah, I absolutely love this. It is fabulous. Now they have what's called daylight wavelength technology, which sounds posh because it is. And what that means is basically it replicates the daylight spectrum as closely as is possible. So what you're getting is you're not getting that fake yellowy light that you can sometimes get. You're actually getting what looks like daylight and it's amazing. So yes, I thought I'd just quickly pop on just to let you know there is a discount code and that is if you use the code SR503. I'll pop it along at the bottom here and I'll pop a link into the description box below and if you want to go check them out feel free to do so because I would highly recommend. Okay, let's get into five patterns that I'd like to make. Now, I did have about 15 on my list and I had to swipe a load of them because we'd be here till Christmas. <laughs> but I've got five that I think are a little bit different and there's a couple of free patterns thrown in there as well for good measure. So I think hopefully you'll like them. They're all a little bit different and I think some of them will be perfect for Christmas, which is just around the corner. Unfortunately, it is just coming up on us rapidly. So let's get into it. Number one, I don't know if I'm saying this right or not, but it's by uh, Fibre Mood and it's called the Soraya Jumper. I hope that's correct. But anyway, I love this jumper. So it says a favourite jumper every autumn and this one already stands a good chance of ending at the top of your list. Soraya is an oversized model with a neck band to snuggle up in. The sleeves are simplicity itself, straight and long. The length is up to you, a little longer at the hips or playfully cropped. The surprising thing about this jumper are the ribbons, allowing you to play with a rushed effect. Not such a fan, you can of course leave them out and opt for a streamlined model. Now I love this because it's a little bit different, isn't it? So I really like the high neck, but you can actually also go for one that is smaller as well. So there's a short uh, neck band and also a high neck band. Um, now fabric advice, rib jersey, French terry, scuba, interlock, knitted jacquard, velvet, velvet. Mm. Velvet sounds absolutely amazing, maybe for Christmas, doesn't it? There are different options for Soraya, so as long as it's a knit fabric and a bit stretchy, you'll be all right. Now, I'm thinking velvet, velvet for the Christmas party, that ribbon where you can just pull it as high as you want, you want to be a bit cheeky or lower it if not. Or you could make this really casual in just a really nice plain knit fabric for like just lounging around the house with its cosy neck but yeah i'm thinking this is a really nice simple make that's just elevated slightly and i'm thinking that would be really nice for the christmas season and definitely velvet is in my mind now it is in sizes 4 to 32 now it only gives you a bust, me bust measurement and i'm assuming that's because it's quite boxy so it's quite straight up and down from underneath the arms so that's probably why you only get one measurement um but it's 30 inches to 57 and a half now, I do think you could do this in a pattern fabric, but I think this pattern would work best in a plain. I know it's unheard of for me to talk about plain fabric, <laughs> but I do think this would work better with a plain because it's really going to show off that feature. I think if you had a pattern fabric, it might be a little bit more difficult um, to kind of see that feature. But I think this is lovely and I think this is going to have to go to the top of my list because I just love this pattern. And fibre move patterns aren't that expensive either if you buy them off the website. Don't forget, I will put all of the links as well to everything that I talk about in the description box below so that you can go and quickly check them out as well. Um, next up is a free pattern. We love free patterns and it's by Mood Society. Now, most of you probably know about Mood Society, but if you don't, it's basically a company in America that sells loads of fabrics and they also have lots of young designers, old designers, you know, people that have been around in the um, sewing world for a long time in the fashion industry. And they basically put up patterns that are free on there. And what I like about it is a lot of them are students as well. And their instructions are on kind of like a blog post online. So you wouldn't be able to get like printed instructions or anything like that. But for a pre free pattern, I think that's fair enough. And my choice for the sweatshirt is the Bixer sweatshirt. Now, this free pattern comes with two customizable views, so you don't need to sacrifice decadence for comfort. The Bixer sweatshirt features a separate lower sleeve, so sewists can mix and match their favourite knits, velours and sequins for the perfect contrast, as well as an optional overlay that's absolutely perfect for beaded tulle. 
Now again, I'm thinking Christmas. I think this is a really nice, unique design. I've not seen this anywhere else. Correct me if I'm wrong, I might be. There might be something like this out there, but for free, I think this is absolutely fantastic. It looks like quite a simple project, but then you can add the extra flair by adding the tool onto the sleeve if you so wish. And I'm thinking again, like, you know, like a gold tool with like sequins in or little stars or snowflakes or something like that for Christmas time would be amazing. Or you could have it really casual and not put the extra layer on it and just have something for like being around the house. You know what I mean? So this comes in sizes 6 to 34, bust of 32 and a half inches to 58 and a half, a waist of 24 and a half to 49 and a half and hips of 34 and a half to 63. Now on the Mood Society website, it can be a little bit difficult sometimes to understand how to get the pattern. But if you pop over to Sam, who is Frugalissima's um, YouTube channel, she has done a video somewhere, I'm sure she has a year or two ago, all about how to download Mood Society patterns. And if I remember, I will try and um, link her vlog in the description box below, just in case you do decide to have a go at one of these and you're unsure as to how to do it. Okay, number three. Now, you might wonder why I've chosen this one, because it's quite simple, but it is the gr granite sweatshirt by Maison Fauve. The reason I've chosen this is because of basically the picture online. I just loved it so much. The like orangey yellow knit fabric, oh, it just sung to me, so it did. But let me explain it to you. So with the granite sweatshirt, you will adopt the sportswear style, loose fitting for comfort, the fall of a lengthened shoulder line to soften the shape, and above all, you will probably fall for its spectacular sleeves. Modern details for the most casual piece of your wardrobe. And I think that sums it up perfectly. So it's quite a casual jumper, but it looks chef's kisses and i think it is down basically to those sleeves but because of the drop shoulder it looks really casual and then you've got this huge sleeve at the bottom but i think if you look i'll be putting pictures up there's some pictures in like a sweatshirt fabric but then there's some pictures in like a loose knit fabric oh it's beautiful and i do know that first of fabrics did have some fabric in like that because Tamlin made a beautiful carry cardigan in it a while ago. I think it was last year. And ever since then, I've loved the look of it. And now I'm thinking I need to make it in one of those knits because I think this would look absolutely beautiful. It's like a simple pattern, but just slightly elevated. And again, I can't imagine it would be too hard to make this one either. So, bonus. Right, number four is the Sweet Cheeks sweater from Pattern Emporium. Now... I love this pattern because you get so much from it and it's very rare that I wear a v-neck and this gives you an option for a v-neck well in fact it gives you several options of the neckline but I loved the image of the v-neck online I was just mm, I was bought into it it says the sweet cheek sweater features drop shoulders fabulous full length sleeves and a banded step hem with side split detail the fit is roomy and oversized, making it perfect for layering. This is a fast and satisfying sew that's designed for comfort. So it's got four necklines to this pattern, which I think is amazing. It's got like a wide V-neck. It's got two rounded necks. So it's got a high neck and a mid neck. And it's also got a really nice big funnel neck. So again, you're getting quite a lot of different options in one pattern, which I think is amazing. So it's got a banded hem with a step detail. So that's the little side splits that you get on the side. I really like that as a feature. And it's got four finished lengths as well. So it's got two um, cropped lengths, which I know is very on trend at the moment, which is an ultra and a cropped. Then it's got a hip length and then it's also got a mid thigh length. So you could kind of do the mid thigh length and wear it maybe with leggings or tights and big chunky boots as well in the winter. I can imagine that. Uh, full sleeve, which is perfect for layering, easy fit cuff. It's also got two easy short sleeve methods. So in one of the pictures, you can actually see it's got short sleeves as well, which I think would be quite nice for the summer. It's got written and photographed instructions designed for stretch knit fabrics and you can make it with four way and two way stretch knits. Now, you get a lot of fee money with this one, but also that V-neck is singing to me. And I think the reason the V-neck is singing to me is because I was very inspired by Andrea from Beyond the Pink Tour when she made her animal print jumper with like a rainbow striped 
neckline, V neckline. Ooh, I loved it so much. So I would like to replicate something similar. Sorry, Andrea. All I'm doing is basically copying people at the moment, but that's what I fancy doing. I love the idea of the contrast between the two or, you know, maybe a plain fabric and then the really nice funky cuff. I don't know. We'll see, but I think that's definitely going to be on my list for this year. It is in sizes 4 to 30, which is a bust of 27 and a half to 55 inches, a waist of 21 and a half to 49 and hips of 31 and a half to 59 inches. So a lot of options for your money on that one. And last but not least is another free pattern. Oosh. This one I've never seen before um, and it, I was basically, I think I was on Pinterest and I was just having a li little look like I do every now and again, trying to get some inspiration. And I saw this sweater and it's from Wild and Wonderful. Now I say wonderful because it's spelt with an A, not an O. So I think that is how it's said, but again, I might be wrong. And it's called the Snuggler Sweater. I love the idea of that. And it's free, even better. So what it says about this one, it says, this beginner friendly pattern is an adorable dolman bat wing style sweater with a simple construction and oversized silhouette. The snuggler sweater is a crossover top with matching front and back pieces. There is a continuous sleeve from wrist to neckline, meaning there are very minimal seams to sew up. Yes. The silhouette is great on all shapes and sizes and is drafted for use with knit fabrics. Specific fabric recommendations would be brushed rib knits, rib knits, modal knit blends, double brushed polyester knits, sweater knits, spandex French terry blend knits, waffle knits, brushed waffle knits, etc, etc, etc. Basically any knit, really, if you want to think of it like that. So it features two hem lengths, so there's like a cropped one and what they call a shirt length as well, so that's obviously further down. It's a dolman batwing style sleeve, which I love. It crosses over at the front and the back. And that's what I loved about it. You'll see in the pictures that I'm showing here that actually at the back, it's got that beautiful V as well. I feel like it's a bit sexy. You know what I mean? I think it just looks lovely when there's a slightly different um, silhouette on the back of a pattern. Because obviously on sweaters, it just tends to be the back's the back. But I love the idea that this actually slopes into the shape of a V as well. So it's almost a carbon copy of the front. I love it. Uh, oversized fit with a blousy banded bottom hem and two long sleeve versions. So you can do a cuffed one and a hemmed one as well. Now, looks like really simple construction and very minimal pattern pieces. Oh, hello. I just think oh, yeah, I am, but you've just interrupted it, but thanks anyway. Just come see you want a drink. Oh, yeah. I would love one. Are we talking alcoholic or a cup of tea? I haven't got any alcohol. Ah, oh, cup of tea then. Unless you want gin or no rum. No, I'll have a cup of tea, thank Can you. Can I rum and coke? No, it's fine, stop it now. I'll have no. a cup of tea. No, I'm all right. Uh, peppermint, please, love. Green tea and peppermint. Green tea and peppermint's my new favourite. Thank you, love you. Gives you mug then. Oh, gives you mug then. Do you want my Christmas one? I'm halfway through it. We had another one as well. Are you are you going to leave this vlog? No. No, you're just going to carry gonna on. Comment that you're going to oh, come. Thanks very on. much. Yeah, that's two cups that I've got in my room. Could you shut the door, please, love? Why? Thank you. Oh, Simba's in as well. Oh, we nearly got to the end, didn't we? Simba's here as well. It's normally Tigger, but Simba's here. Where did it get to? Oh, okay. You sit down now. But anyway, I think I was, I think I was saying, sit, sit down. I think I was saying, <laughs> I give up. I give up. I think I was saying it's a simple construction. I love the idea of this. It's a free pattern. Fabulous. And yeah, I really like the back um, side of this as well. Hello, darling. It's in sizes XXS to P5X. Don't know what that means at all, but it's basically a bust of 31 to 60 inches, a waist of 24 to 57 and a hips of 30 to 63. So really good size range. And you can see from the pictures on here that it's really beautiful pattern as well. And it's free. So there are th three free patterns. No one needs to see your bum. Come on, let's get you down. Um, three free patterns in amongst what I've made and what I would like to make. Please do let me know in the comment section down below. Have you made any of these patterns? Which one would you recommend? Which one do you think would suit me the best? Wow, she's needy. Look at her. Adorable, but needy. Yes, yeah, stop headbutting me. So yeah, please do let me know in the comment section down below what you think I should make and whether you've made any of them before. I want to make all five. Now, that'd be interesting. Do you think I'll be able to get all five done? 
I say all these things, I have all these plans and then it never actually happens, but I am definitely going to make some of them. I promise. I'm going to make that promise to you right now. Anyway, so I'm going to say goodbye now from myself and from Simba. There is cat hair literally flying around the place. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't done already. And hopefully I'll see you all again very soon. Take care. I hope you've had loads of time to sew and I'll see you soon. Bye.